Hi everyone. Okay, I didn't want to wait until the last day of the month to do the training video, but it just worked out that way, okay? So for those of you that might not know, um, my mom, she broke her leg earlier this month, July 8th. Um, so I've been dealing with that. So that's why I'm not that, av my availability is not what it used to be. So she's still, she's doing well. Um, she's healing as normal. But um, with that comes some challenges. Uh, my time, my evenings are pretty much dedicated to going over to the rehab center she's at for therapy um, and spend my evenings there with her. So that's why I haven't been as available, I guess you could say, <laughs> to do videos or things like that. But she's getting better. Um, we're hoping maybe within the next week or two um, she'll be released and she'll be here home with me um, but still she'll need assistance pretty much 24 7 um, you know walking is not going to be the same for her anymore which you know that brings us challenges but enough about that let's do I wanted to do our team meeting because we have a lot going on right so the previous month um, I did the transition video to try to help let you know what to buy and kind of like how to use it in order to prepare for August new catalog right which we're jumping into fall winter so fall winter catalog starts tomorrow August 1st now don't expect it to launch right at midnight because what Sensi has to do is kind of shut down our website and get it ready loading up all the new stuff right and of course removing all the discontinued stuff so it is a little transition period that they go through. I want to say, I think it was 2 p.m. It's going to take about two hours. I think it's 2, 2 p.m., sorry, 2 a.m. Pacific time, which remember for, I'm in Mountain Standard Time, that would be 3 a.m. for me. I want to say that's the time. Unfortunately, I can't check. I can't have my laptop on because it gave out on me this week. It's doing some weird thing, which I'm taking to my friend to, che to check for me and hopefully he can help me out and get it resolved today because I haven't been able to print anything. So what you're seeing is the stuff that I pr got to print, very few stuff that I got to print before it started acting weird. It doesn't let me log in at all. So. I'm limited on what I printed, but I'm gonna show you what I printed, okay? And what I, I'm mailing out. Some of the stuff I had done on the group, so you probably already saw it. If not, I'm showing to you how I'm gonna use it. Okay, so let's jump into it. I think the first thing, I guess I can show you how to transition, <laughs> I guess you can say that. Okay, because I still get questions on this. Okay, so this is the catalog, right? We got catalogs, we got the showcase brochures, which are these, the, the bigger ones. Remember, these are more economical. You buy 25 for $5. And it has everything in the catalog, okay? So now I'm showing you the actual one. I think last month I was showing you the spring, summer to give you an idea. Product list, what I usually do, and that's why they have the scent of the month. I usually staple this. Um, make sure everything you have has your name on it. Your name, your number, website, what have you, okay? Always have everything labeled. And these I give out usually during events because they're easier to give out as flyers. They have a sample, your contact information. And these you can get $150 for $9. So way more economical. So remember, these I recommend for events or with your mailers. Let me show you. I showed you my happy mail, but let me actually physically show it to you. So this is going to go in my happy mail. This fits in, folded up, fits in a standard envelope. I'm not going to show you the address it's going to. Um, it goes to a standard envelope. It all fits in there. I put the flyer with the sample of this coming month, which is the one for August, Night Sky and Vanilla Blackberry. Okay, so I put the flyer in there. Since I don't have the Harvest um, pamphlets, Harvest Collections pamphlets, but we have them, we have access to them. Remember, Sensi put it on our workstation as a PDF. 
So what I did, I chose only two pages to print out full color because look at the, look at how pretty they look and all that color, right? So that's why I only printed two, the two main ones in there with the warmer, with the new warmers coming out and the Nightmare Before Christmas. These I'm sending out along with this so that way they already have it come the first week of August because I'll probably mail them out on Monday. So they'll get them the first week of August so they can already get an idea of what's up and coming, okay? Now, usually my happy mail goes to any of my online orders in the last month or so. And if I don't have access to them, let's say locally, they're not local to me, or I don't have them in my Facebook VIP group because more than likely they won't have access to the flyers that I post in there. So that's what I'm sending out this month, okay? That's what I'm gonna be sending out this month in my happy mail. So product list, that's what they're for. Now catalogs, since we're getting into transition, it's a little different. It's not your usual, like you're in the middle of a season, right? So kind of to hype up or yeah, kind of hype up, get the excitement going with the new catalog. You wanna do these, I did at least, let me see. <laughs> uh, you probably won't see it because my contact info is like itty bitty down here, but make sure you're using QR codes, okay? QR codes are, are so easy. Everybody's starting to get used to being able to scan with their phone and going straight to a website, whichever website you wanna link them to. So of course it's my Sensi website, but sometimes I'll link them to like Sensi Club if it's in reference to Sensi Club. If it's the new catalog, you can access the digital catalog, what have you, okay? But look at how cute these are. And it's kind of like giving them the top six of your picks of the catalog. And you're probably saying, well, what if I haven't smelled them? Well, if you got the testers, you were able to smell them. And I'll go over testers. This was another one. Let me look. I know I don't have nails, they fell off. <laughs> That's, that's the kind of month I've been having. <laughs> it's been rough. <laughs> so um, kind of to give them the top six bars that I like, give them some of this, the, your favorites from the new catalog. Always try to put a good pick, a good pick. Well, picture of yourself, okay? Now, obviously today is not a day I'm gonna go doing pictures with products, right? Today's not a day, I've been up since <laughs> I've been up early because I had to be at my mom's um, therapy really early, so I didn't even have time to do my hair. So today's not one of those days. But if you ever get have a good hair day or a makeup day, make sure you take pictures <laughs> because you always want to label your stuff with your picture, okay? And personalize it. They want to see you, okay? They're buying from you. Build th that's part of building that relationship, okay? Now, what are these for? These are for the catalogs. You can clip these on the front. This one's a little longer. It almost looks like a bookmark. Or this one. And what I'm gonna do is do a little washi tape to hold it on there, just to tape it on there like that. Something cute. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll probably do something like that and just hold it there. You know, just kind of introduce the catalog to them. Now, like I said, I didn't print much. And I did already give out a lot of catalogs because I was giving them out with the August order. So if if my Sensi peeps had already ordered from me, they already have a catalog from me when I delivered their um, July order, okay? So prepping them for August 1st. So going forward, I have these, I'm gonna put them on there. Of course, catalogs, now I already went through like 25 catalogs. I already gave out 25 catalogs. That's how many orders I have delivered in the last two, three weeks. Um, so, you know, I doesn't mean I give catalogs to everyone, but typically the first round I do, after that, kind of like second, third month into it, I start giving out these. Because more than likely my repeat um, customers that buy a lot from me already have one. Or get in the habit of giving the digital catalog. In my VIP group, I already put the digital catalog today. Okay, so that way they have access to it. They don't have to wait for a physical copy, but most people like it. Like a physical, actual copy of the catalog, right? Something you can hold and look through. I like catalogs. I like to look through catalogs, actually, but that's just me. Okay, I had posted the scratch and sniff stickers. I'm like, which order should I go? This is next. 
these are the scratch i have posted a bunch of different um like pdfs or what you can do there was one with three back in back in front um this one was two to a page i kind of like this one better it's you know simple clean just put the stickers on ready to go and these are the 10 new releases why the 10 new releases because typically people already know what luna smells like coconut lemongrass what have you what people are interested in especially if they're your repeat um, customers they already smell those scents they're interested in what's new people have already smelled christmas cottage cinnamon bear you know the ones that always come back with the season but they might not these are the 10 new ones for this catalog so they're more than likely more interested in the new um 10 cents so that's why i usually purchase these the scratch and sniff stickers and i do these and most of the my customers that i gave like their july orders they already got a they already got some of these in their hand so just remember to follow up follow up if you're giving out samples or anything like this remember to follow up to see if they like the scents okay this i'm just gonna throw this in there right now because <laughs> even if it's not in order um i purchased the product guide training guide this one's like two dollars i think it was two dollars or three dollars i want to say two i think I, it's two, two or three dollars no more than that reason is you're probably thinking well you already seen the you know you're pretty familiar with the products doing this five years yes but typically every season or every catalog season we do get new products and this one's a huge one okay if you haven't read up on your air purifier you need to start reading up on it this one's going to be a hot item this is one of those things it's 250 i believe right i don't remember i think i want to say it's 250 so it's a high prv item let me see yeah 250 and the re the replacement filter is 35 so um it's a high prv product get familiar with it people are gonna have questions people are not gonna have questions about how a warmer works right because most people have a warmer experience wax what have you they're gonna want to know what this is okay so now you're saying since he has a purifier and it gives out scent okay that's what's gonna make Sensi's purifier a little different right because it's gonna have the ability to give out fragrance so remember that okay so read up on this this is gonna be one of those items that you need to know because it's new okay so that's why I got my product training guide I typically do get it every season so I can kind of read up on the stuff become an expert okay <laughs> um oh i forgot to show you one of the newsletters i don't know if i put, posted this one in the group but it does have the qr code for the catalog i think i was working on this one i only printed one and then that's when my laptop gave out but if you do any type of newsletter make sure you put out definitely include the warmer and the scent of the month and these i always get templates from from different groups I'm part of the Sensi director group, director and above group, and man, they're awesome. There's some people that can do flyers like that. They're so talented in putting stuff together. And the nice thing about it is that they share them. Like <laughs> they share them. They're just like, here, if you know, if you want to use my template, go ahead. And they give us access to their templates, which, which is awesome. So that's where I get all of these um templates usually that i share for like scratch and sniff stickers newsletters what have you okay so if they look familiar that's why because other people share them so in a newsletter you can put it in your happy mail if you like i only printed one so i'm not gonna do that um probably this time around <laughs> unless i fix my laptop hopefully by today and i can start printing more okay probably the testers i'll go over next so another transition item that I told you, purchase just a transition set. And this is how exactly how it came. I haven't even taken it out. This is the transition set. So what does that mean? That means these are the scents for the season, for fall, winter. You'll have your cinnamon bear, ice pine, very snowy spruce, and all the 10 new scents, right, that we just discussed. All those, okay? Now, remember, 
to make it easy on you, okay? All you have to do is, if you have a catalog, go to the back of the catalog right before the little fold out pages. Remember this page? So where it tells you all the scents, these are all the scents in the, in the catalog. So that means if you have a full set, you need to make sure that these are the scents that you have in your full set, okay? Most of them are gonna be in this one, but remember with the transition set, they're not gonna give you scents that are available all year round. For example, and I can read some off of you and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's what she means. Aloe water and cucumber. That's available in spring, summer. It's available fall, winter. So that's not gonna be in this transition set. Amazon rain. Mm. Amazon rain, baked apple pie, blueberry cheesecake, blue grotto, black raspberry vanilla. Do you get it? So the ones that are available all year round are not gonna be in your transition set, okay? So do yourself this is my full set from spring summer i haven't moved them out yet because i haven't scheduled a party or plan to give them out like tomorrow or anything so they're still in there but what i'm gonna do and this is the easiest way to try to get your set ready is just start going through them dump them out start reading the names and if they're not in this bag then they have to be in this bag right <laughs> It's as simple as that, okay? And just make sure that you only have the testers that are here, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna, let's say, hmm, what's one that's not coming back? Mad for Melon, right? I don't think that one's coming back, let's see, because that's too summery. Correct, so it's not in this one. So you don't wanna give out this um, at a party and you left Mad for Melon or let's say, paradise punch in here and people are smelling it and they want to order that one you don't want to do that okay so make sure you get your transition set in there get the set the testers out that are not coming back and get your tester set your full set ready if you don't have a full set then all you need is this okay for the season all you need is this if you don't have a full set not a big deal if you joined with the 20 dollar um kit you didn't get a full set so it's up to you if you want to buy a full set to have it or if you just want to buy the transition set for the season it just means that you'll have less testers and you won't have the tester for the ones i read amazon rain aloe water and cucumber black raspberry vanilla because those would not be in the transition set You'll just have less testers, but I mean, you still have testers available for people to smell. So it's, that's still good. Okay. So I know the full set is 40. I think this one was like, oh, and I can't look it up because I don't have my laptop. I can't use my laptop. Um, I know they were 20% off, I want to say. So they, I mean, it was a discount. So if you're still up until today, July 31st, you can get them. If you're seeing this video after July 31st, you missed out on the discount, okay? So, transition tester. So that, remember, just look at the last page and pull them out, okay? Super easy, don't complicate your life. Testers, what else? Okay, these little things. So these I bought on Amazon. And <laughs> since I don't have my, my laptop, I'm not printing, but I'm gonna print the little, the, the names of the scent and label this up, okay? So they, they, I will have labels here for each of the scents and these I'm gonna give out to my customers, okay, to my Scentsy peeps. So what I did, because I, I earned level one of the keep growing, keep going, or keep going, keep growing incentive, this part, was it march through june i want to say yeah march through june we had um our spring incentive and i earned level one and part of earning level one they gave us incentive points too so i'm excited about that and they had mentioned that all the incentive points that we are we get from that one goes towards sponsoring points so you always want to work towards sponsoring points because sponsoring points are the harder ones to get right 
it's a little easier to get prv points because that's based on your own sales um, but sponsoring points is on team promotions so it's a little different those are a little harder to work on because you have to rely on other people um, wanting this and doing working their business in order for them to promote from certified they can promote from essential to certify lead star consult whatever you get the point right <laughs> so those levels as they promote you earn points for your incentive so part of that they gave me the scent it was called the scent seasons kit so they gave me a bar of all every single one of the new bars so i got 10 bars so i melted them in a warmer and then i i dumped them into these little these little see it's like a little clamshell a mini clamshell so i made samples of these and it's super easy just melt the wax in a warmer and you just dump it out and just make sure and right now it's scratching off the excess because it you you know they're tiny well they're not tiny but they are small and you have to get the wax in there without once it dries you can peel it off on the sides if you spill any on the sides but these are six of the 10 new sets so with four cubes i did 30 of these i just haven't labeled them because my my laptop's out <laughs> so as soon as i get that working i'm going to go ahead and label these with the scents so that way i can get them in my sensi peeps hands and they can go ahead and smell the new scents so and i'm not going to do both so either i'm giving out these or I'm gonna give them one of the 10 scratch and sniff stickers cards. Okay, so it's one or the other. I don't do both because technically those are the same samples. It's the same sense, okay? So these I got on Amazon. Um, depending where you're seeing me, I have linked these before, but if you're watching me on YouTube, I'll, tr I'll go, it might take me a little bit, but I'll link the, the website because it's Amazon, but I'll try to whip, um, link the the link directly to these if I can find it off my Amazon because it's been a while I bought these for spring summer so I had these um, and they I bought them in bulk so I have a, I had a lot so in order for me to make the spring summer and then I made 30 now fall winter and I'm still gonna make more I'm just waiting for my printer to mount my printer my laptop to work so I can go ahead and do my labels okay so you don't have to do this i'm i'm just doing it because typically when i when I, when spring summer the ones i gave out those were the ones that sold right because people get to smell them same thing with the scratch and sniff stickers those are the ones that are going to sell out because those are the ones they're smelling so just think about that when you're investing in these things last but not least i'm gonna i did these i'm gonna do these for fall for fall that's why they're kind of like fall themed so if you've seen these before and i link have linked the boxes again if you're watching me on youtube i'll try to link the the link for these gift boxes that i got on amazon so i always tell you you have to make it easy for your customers um sometimes when it comes to gift ideas maybe when they look at a fragrance flower they don't think of it as a gift or they might think the little box is boring to wrap so um, try to make it easier for them and already gift wrap it or make it nice to look as a gift. And these, I sold them earlier this year for Mother's Day and for teacher gifts, for um, teacher appreciation. These were a huge hit and they continue to be. That's why now with us going back to school, I started doing them. So in case they need them for teacher gifts, the first day of school, or even for cute fall gifts. I wrapped, this time I'm using orange ribbon, kind of like, you know, autumn theme colors. I put the shred paper in here. It's like a brownish kind of, it's a brown, I wanna say, it. yeah, it's a light brown. And then I put, I always put the fragrance flower. Instructions are down here. I try to put them down there so they won't show. It takes, it won't take away from the flower. The flower is beautiful, I mean, our fragrance flowers are so nice look and i put the oil the little topper is back there too but i try to always position the flower forward um 
and then I just tie ribbon around it and that's it. I kid you not, the wrapping is less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. Why? So this I get a I get to make a lot out of this bag. This is a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. This is the shred. The crinkle paper, whatever you want to call it. So you'll see it's brown. Okay, so I use this Dollar Tree. I buy ribbon when it's on sale. Hobby Lobby has it for 50% off. This one I got for a dollar. I want to say this one I got a while back from Michaels. So Michaels or Hobby Lobby, they typically do have sales on ribbon and that's when I stock up. I have this and I, I'm already stocking up on red ribbon because Christmas is always huge. So of course stock up and I'm probably gonna have to start stocking up on um, crinkle paper in red or white, or, you know, Christmas colors. So, because again, don't wait until the day before Christmas to do things like this because they'll be out, <laughs> out of stock, okay? So, again, this one I got at Hobby Lobby, this one at Michael's. Uh, Michael's does have sales on ribbons every now and then. That's when you need to stock up, okay? So, the ribbon, this was a dollar, okay? Half off, it was a dollar. Um, this one has more, but I don't remember since it's been a while how much this one cost me, but I typically don't pay more than $2. I want to say this one it has more, but I think I paid maybe $2.19 for it, something like that don't remember exactly might have been less but suck up in ribbon that's why I tell you these are less than the little boxes less than 50 cents I want to say less than 50 cents about 50 cents maybe and then tax so again once I combine the pricing like of all, uh, everything I use less than a dollar it is less than a dollar to put these together and they'll sell Okay, so I'm getting these ready because I, I will be doing like a craft fair. Um, I usually do a craft fair. I try to do at least one event a month and I already have one for, the, for August coming up. So I'm getting these ready. And usually these draw a lot of attention. Like I said, they sold a lot for Mother's Day and Treat Your Appreciation. Even at the events, it would draw, I drew people that did not know what a fragrance flower was. I don't know if you can see it. Um, they were curious to see what it was. So, and they sold, they sold. I sold every fragrance flower I took. So they're super cute. Just try to, you know, try to, I try to tie it with themes, you know. So right now we're doing fall winter. So um, those are some of the things I'm doing. And then um, let's see, I hope everybody's ready for August 1st. Today, is Sensi end of month live, so I also have to hop off to go watch that. It starts at six, I can't see the time, but <laughs> I'm like, it starts at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So depending what time you see me, it probably already passed, or maybe you're getting ready to see it, or we're in the middle of it, okay? So I'll let you go so we can see all those sneak peeks. So I'll probably hop on here, I don't know, next time I have more to share. So talk to everybody later. Bye.